Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to conduct a really good coaching consultation. I'm Lisa Johnson, a multi six-figure business coach, and in two years, I've built a business online where I make 80% of my income from passive and semi-passive income streams. Sometimes coaching consultations are also known as discovery calls. Basically, all it is is a conversation to work out if you're right for the client and the client is right for you. It's a two-way conversation. I think it's really important to say up front that through these consultations, I've turned down clients to work with me. It's not always about whether they want to work with you. Whilst it is a two-way conversation, your role is to ask questions in order to understand the potential client situation, the problem or desire they want some help and support to solve. The litmus test, however, in a great consultation is that you should be spending more of your time listening than you are talking. Many salespeople are great at asking killer questions, but they fail on their ability to listen to the answer to those questions properly and use the information they've just got to inform the next part of the conversation. If you find yourself preparing your next response when your potential client is still talking, then that's an alarm bell that you're not really listening properly. In my view, if you want to create the perfect coaching consultation, then you can't just rock up to it and fly by the seat of your pants. You've got to do your homework. And that means doing some preparation, find out a little bit about the person or the company that you're hoping to do business with. A little social media stalking usually does the trick. Google them, check them out on LinkedIn perhaps, find out what's been happening or going on in their life. And you do this for two reasons. Firstly, to build a great relationship and establish a decent bit of authentic rapport. And secondly, you'll learn important information that may influence their buying decision. You have a really good opportunity here to demonstrate some credibility. So make sure that you take it. When you get onto the call, lead it well. It's important you've got a strong and confident opener that sets the expectation for the purpose of the call, the outcome that it should achieve, and the time that you've got to do it in. It's then about doing some work to understand their goals. When you know what they want to achieve, you can move that onto figuring out whether it's about removing a pain point or chasing a desire. It can be tempting quite early on in the start to get into solution mode, but it's really important that you resist that temptation. Whilst you're gathering all of this information about what's causing them pain, do your best to capture their own words that they use to describe the pain. The reason for that, you'll want to play back to them what you've heard, to check that you've got it right and that you understand. And there's nothing more powerful than using a client's own words to do just that. You'll begin to notice whether your prospective client either uses more fact-based or emotional-based words to describe their situation. Use some of those to help you begin to explore the impact of the problem that they're looking to solve. For example, if they're saying things like they're really upset or worried about a certain situation, then to explore the impact, you might ask some feelings-based questions. So for example, how does that make you feel? If they're more fact-based, then you might choose to ask something like, if X happens, what then? Storytelling is also a really powerful tool in a coaching consultation. Be ready to tell stories of similar clients that have experienced the same as them. Whilst this is really useful to demonstrate that you're capable of getting results in these situations, the real benefit is more around letting your potential client know that what they're experiencing is totally normal. When your call is over, your client will remember stories much more than any facts and figures that you tell them. This will often lead in nicely to being able to talk about how you can help them. Your job at this point is to articulate the value that you can bring. Again, ask some questions that explore how a solution like the one you've suggested can achieve the results that they're really looking for. That way, they almost sell it to themselves and they feel in control, not that they're being sold to. It's really important that we sell with integrity, so it's got to be right for your client. Not that they're manipulated or guilt-tripped into a sale, which believe me, actually does happen. If you truly feel that this is a great solution for the client, then you should go ahead and ask for the business. Firstly, making sure that all of their concerns or issues have been addressed by what you propose. And remember, there will be some coaching consultations that you do where it's not the right thing to push for the sale or to have that person as a client. It's important we do the right thing and call that out honestly. 
You might even refer them to someone else you know that you do think is the right fit for them. So remember, it's all about listening more than talking, asking great questions to really understand their pain points, and then demonstrating the value that you can give them. And if you're not right for them, or they're not right for you, then maintain your integrity and don't push the sale regardless. If you've enjoyed this video, then do make sure you subscribe below. And remember, if I can do it, you can do it too.